take my hand Don't let go, scour down So I am about to head to the airport. It's about 7 a.m. We have an 8.50 departure to go to Baltimore. It is a deadhead, so I'm not in uniform because I have no other flying today. And um, I don't have to be in uniform for a deadhead. I'm gonna head to the airport. I don't really have a sign-in time because, again, I'm already a part of a sequence, um, so I wasn't supposed to be home last night. So I don't really have a sign-in time. I just have to make sure that I get there for the flight. Um, <laughs> Obviously, I have to be there to go on the flight. So I'm gonna head on over now and we'll see you on the plane. show you around so here is the room we have two beds so food bed and sleep bed we have chair and this desk is like really nice I like it um, although I'm not used to having the desk in front of the window this is kind of a different setup than I'm used to here is outside there is just a bunch of hotels around mostly um, let's see, coffee maker, let's turn on all the lights. Also, we gotta check on the beds for no creepers because I can tell there's no metal under the bed. Let's see, no creepers, no creepers. Okay, and then over here's the bathroom. I haven't even looked at it yet, but I can tell the shower is cute. Where's the light? Is it behind the door? Um, is it outside the door? Oh, yeah. Found it. Okay, so that's cute. I like that style. So, nice bathroom. Hi. My hair's up because I'm just really hot. Shower. And yeah. Oh, this TV. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy watching this. I love how there's outlets underneath the TV. I kind of wish I brought my HDMI cord to plug my laptop in, because that would be perfect. And then closet. Let's see what's in the wardrobe. I like how it's a wardrobe. This is really cool. Ooh, and there we have our ironing stuff. So I don't think I have, do I have a fridge? Might be under there. What is this? Oh, okay. This is cool. Like a little rollout desk so I can eat over here if I want. That's cool. Is there a fridge? There might be a fridge right there. Let's see. Hopefully there is. Um, it's hard to tell. Yeah, there's a fridge. Awesome. Good. Because I have stuff that needs to go in there. Perfect. All right, guys. I'm going to get myself settled. I am so thirsty, but I got drinks from the lobby. So... Got a ton of like Gatorades and like an orange soda. So I'm gonna get settled and I am going to chug a Gatorade. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll check in with you when I figure out what I'm gonna do on the layover. Hey guys, so I am just hanging out in my hotel room. I literally have not gotten off the bed. I am just exhausted. 
Um, so I've been basically just sitting on my phone and now it's almost dead. So I should probably charge it, especially because this video is going to like kill it even further. So yeah, so I've been just kind of hanging out. Um, I, I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi to get started on working on editing and just computer and YouTube stuff, but it wasn't like really working that well. And I was like, wow, this Wi-Fi really sucks. As crew, a lot of times you have memberships with like the loyalty programs with the hotels but I am a member of like I think three different hotel chains loyalty programs maybe more I don't even know I don't even know <laughs> so the one that I'm a member of I like typically we get an access code but we didn't get an access code so instead of calling down to get one I was like oh I'll just use my number my loyalty number for this and so I logged on and I was like, wow, this Wi-Fi sucks. <laughs> um, and then it just completely like took, booted me out of the Wi-Fi altogether. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, I've never had hotel Wi-Fi this bad. And then I realized that I logged into the wrong hotel's Wi-Fi. <laughs> and this hotel in general just has free Wi-Fi. So that's why I didn't get an access code. Because it's free. And I logged into the wrong hotel's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Ugh, flight attendant things. You don't even remember what brand of hotel you're staying in. <laughs> so that's how my day's been. I am just exhausted. I feel like I need caffeine, but I also don't want to be up all night because we have a 4.45 VN tomorrow. Ugh, rude. So rude. Gotta get up early, work three legs. We have... Baltimore to Chicago and then we have a turn but I honestly have no idea what the turn is I don't know where we're going <sighs> also life of flight attendant don't remember what hotel chain you're staying at don't remember what flights you're working don't remember where you woke up that morning it literally happens all of the time welcome to my life you guys welcome to where Janae goes channel over because this is this is just it this is all it is <laughs> Just kidding. Channel not over. Bye, you guys. We're asleep now. <laughs> nap time. <laughs> Except for not nap time. So hopefully I'll still get tired later and just be able to fall asleep and have a long night's sleep despite the 4.45 van. So my alarm clock is going off at 4 a.m. Lovely. Um... I have a feeling this is going to be an all no makeup trip because I don't think I've wore makeup this entire trip. So this is just the face you're getting. And yes, sometimes I do full faces of makeup when I have a 4 a.m. van. I've done it before. My friend Amy, when I went to Fargo, she was very impressed by this. She's like, how do you do a full face of makeup for a 4 a.m. van? But um, I don't know. I feel like tomorrow morning with how tired I've been, I'm just not gonna be for it we will see you will find out <laughs> anyways check in with you later guys <laughs> first floor so i want to talk to you guys about what happened last night but first i need to go home so i'll see you there Hey guys, so I am here doing my makeup for my next trip. Um, I wanted to explain to you guys what happened on my overnight in Baltimore. So after I had talked to you guys last, I it was getting kind of late and I was getting sleepy. I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I talk to you guys, by the way. Where is my, oh, the thing that's in my hand, okay. Um, so it was getting late and I needed to go to sleep, but I wasn't really super tired anymore. So I decided to take a hot shower so that I can just get sleepy. That usually works for me. So while I was in the shower, um, as you guys saw on my tour, the shower um, kind of curved around um, the shower curtain um, instead of just being three walls and a curtain basically. Uh, so, I was in the shower facing out and facing out where like it's normal to have like the curtain and 
um, I started to slip. And so when I started to slip, I put my hand up um, on the part where there's typically a wall, but since it curved around, there wasn't a wall there. There was just a curtain. And so I went, when I went to steady myself against the wall, I just basically fell through the curtain since there's not a wall and um, pulled the half the curtain down with me. And I hit my back on the edge of the tub. I literally was like telling myself like, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Like as I had just fallen and I'm in like a ton of pain because I hit my back on the tub. Um, and then I just like started crying, like my emotions. I was just so over it and emotional that day. And that was like one of the straws. And I was like just in a lot of pain and I was just not having a good time. <laughs> so I just like, I literally just like sat in the water and just like cried. And then I text David because my phone was right, right next to the shower. So I text David, I was like, I fell, but I'm okay. Um, and I just like, it took me a long time to get it together. <laughs> um, like a really long time to get it together. Um, in fact, David was like joking later. I'm okay now, but later David was joking like, yeah, you didn't tell him for two days because you were too busy pouting about it. And I'm like, but actually, <laughs> um, so after that, after I stopped freaking out, I basically, um, went to the mirror to try to take a picture of my back to see like, is it bruised? Is it swollen? Is there anything I need to address medically? Um, so I just saw like a bruise basically. Um, I saw a bruise on my elbow because I like hit part of my elbow on the edge of the tub also. It was just really, really painful. Um, and it just really, really sucked with just everything else that I was going through at the time too. And it was just not my day. I was worried like what if I wake up in the morning and my back is in like so much pain. So I was worried that I was like gonna wake up. We had a 445 van and I was like what if I wake up at four in the morning and like my back's in so much pain that I don't think I can work. I did end up having to fill out an injury on duty form with my company since I was on a work layover. Um, so that way to cover my basis so if I do have to go see a doctor which I don't feel like I do at this point um that just covers my basis um so right now it's been two day two days almost two days because it was the night before last that I fell um my back was really sore yesterday it's still pretty sore today but it's a little less sore which is great um so yesterday, the night that it happened, I had Advil with me, so I took some Advil. Yesterday, I also took an Advil, but I only had to take it once. It wasn't too bad. Um, I got home from my trip. I relaxed. I sat my butt down on the couch, and I did not get up. Um, so this morning, like, I still feel it. I still feel like something happened to my back. Pain is decreasing. I think I'm just bruised up. So I'm really hoping that like, it just takes a couple days for the bruising and the pain to go down and then I'll be golden. That's what I'm hoping for. So hopefully that's that. And then this just doesn't ever become an issue ever again. I was able to work yesterday. So while I did feel bruising and pain, it wasn't it didn't hurt when I moved, so I was still able to perform my flight attendant functions without like being in any more pain or making anything any worse. So that was great. Uh, so I didn't have to like call out and get stuck in Baltimore or anything like that. Yes, I'm drinking out of a happy Halloween cup. Don't judge me. I miss wearing lipstick because I hardly wear lipstick because it just gets all over my mask but I miss it I miss wearing lipstick so today we're wearing lipstick even if you can't see it because <laughs> oh well 
All right, guys, I'm gonna start getting ready for my next trip. Um, I am gonna start a new vlog for it, so you'll have to watch that to find out where I'm going today. Anyways, I wanted to thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you can get some notifications on when I post and see where I go next. Bye, guys. Fly so much higher.